the International Seabed Authority, a coalition of 168 nation states, actively collaborating to implement the provisions of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Strong, purposeful, resource rich in knowledge and technical competence, the ISA at 25 is pursuing a sustainable future for humankind for the next 25 years and beyond. Under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, the mineral resources of the deep seabed are designated as the common heritage of all mankind. The Convention established the International Seabed Authority as the organization responsible for managing this vast area of ocean space and ensuring that its resources are used for the benefit of all humanity. This year, the Authority celebrates its 25th anniversary. From its headquarters in Kingston, Jamaica, it is time to take stock of what has been achieved so far and what might be achieved in the future. So the Convention entered into force in 1994, having been adopted in 1982. And that was really a remarkable diplomatic achievement to bring the Convention into force in a way that satisfied all the major interests developed and developing countries. The uh, international influence and the popularity of RSA increased significantly. And the principle of the common heritage of mankind has been recognized, respected and abided by widely. I think the, the, the full set of the uh, structure, management, operation mechanism has been established by generations of qualified professional team. When I arrived the first time, there was uh, not that big an interest in the activities of the authority. Uh, we were perhaps 60 uh, member states represented in the assembly. Um, there were no side events, nothing happening during lunch hour or in the evenings. And it's been a fantastic journey to be part of the development of the authority over the past 20 years or so, because now uh, the attention is great. You have fully packed agendas, you have huge uh, interest uh, globally. We've been applying what is called an evolutionary approach to the establishment of the authority. So we began very slowly with the establishment of the major organs of the authority the establishment of a regime that covers exploration of the deep seabed and gradually that exploration has uh, taken place and has increased over the years so that now we're at the stage where we're discussing regulations that will eventually cover exploitation. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development recognizes that the implementation of international law as reflected in the Convention is one of the means for enhancing the conservation and sustainable use of the ocean and its resources. The ISA has contributed significantly over the past 25 years to the development and implementation of the International Law of the Sea. One of its critical achievements is the adoption of regulations governing prospecting and exploration for marine minerals. Currently, members of the ISA are considering mining regulations that would allow commercial scale recovery of the seabed minerals. This mining code is being developed through a transparent process involving several rounds of consultations with member states the scientific community, academia, the private sector, and civil society. Once adopted, this would be the first time in history that global rules, based on the highest level of prudence and precaution, are approved before an industry starts. When you consider geology, you have 
Stone Age with starting exploitation flint, then iron, yeah, and then hard coal, then distillation of oil and exploitation of oil, shell gas, and now we have a deep sea uh, mining. For sure, it will be it will be a big revolution, and this is most important for for countries uh, which are poor at this moment. I think it has been crafted in such a way that the history should not repeat itself. All nationalities, nations, will be equal before the law and will share those products. We need metals. We are metal, these metals are critical metals. Critical means you will not develop these technologies without these metals. They are in huge amount in the uh, deep ocean. If you want to protect an environment on the continent, you have to take some of these metals of, uh, from, from the sea bottom and produce uh, all important things which, uh, which uh, really make the revolution, including protection. ESA is 25 years. We have just celebrated 25 years of freedom in South Africa. And we are happy to be part of an international body that is championing uh, equality of the nations. The International Seabed Authority and the legal regime that it operates under, it's actually the only example of an international organization that ma manages a common property resource. And what's even more remarkable about that is that it does so on the basis of equity. So this is something that has never been done before. It's actually a unique experiment in human civilization. We have to minimize as much as possible the environmental disturbance. An important part of the ISA's responsibilities is to promote and encourage marine scientific research and make sure that the results are available to everyone. To date, ISA has approved 29 contracts for exploration of the deep seabed. These projects involve 22 different countries but cover less than 1% of the total seabed. По моему мнению, главное достижение органа это возвращение темы изучения полезных ископаемых на больших глубинах мирового океана и вовлечение их в практическую плоскость. Мы знаем, что этот процесс начался в 70-х годах и был очень активен, но затем в течение 20 лет была пауза, и только в середине 90-х годов, в значительной степени благодаря международному органу по морскому дну, эта тема снова началась и получила практическое воплощение. The application of science and the results of these research projects by the ISA was a major uh, reason for, for the funding of a lot of these very large and very expensive operations offshore. In the next 25 years, I see that the ISA can play a significant role in fostering the development of our societies, uh, which are more and more dependent on the availability of metals. Environmental protection is at the forefront of the ISA's responsibilities. The ISA decides how and where deep seabed mining will take place, under what conditions, how environmental impacts will be minimized, and which areas will be protected. Since 2012, the ISA has established nine marine protected areas on the seabed of the Pacific Ocean. One can see ISA bubbling with a lot of activities with the contractors. And if you see the contract areas, it's close to about 2 million square kilometer, which is quite substantial, and which is going to increase as the time passes. And if you see the data which has been collected out of these contracts, it is phenomenal. And there will be a lot of considerations for the environmental studies, because 
uh, there should not be the case in which we don't uh, disregard the environmental issues. So what has the ISA achieved? It brought together people, it made them interact and helped developing knowledge, so it broadened the knowledge base and, and also actually um, the, the very fact that we still um, don't know very much about the deep sea. Uh, but on the other hand, um, without the ISA, we would, uh, would know much less today. I wish the, the ISA good luck for the next 25 years uh, and I hope we will be able quite soon to, to reconcile the interests uh, between the marine environment and the mineral resources. I'm quite optimistic that, that we can achieve that balance. Um, so I'm looking forward to being a part of that. Another critical responsibility of the ISC is to ensure fair and equitable sharing of the benefits from deep sea mining. This includes monetary and non-monetary benefits, such as capacity building and access to scientific knowledge. UNCLOS, as we call the, the Convention on the Law of the Sea, is absolutely important for Brazil. Brazil has been a negotiator from the very beginning till the very end. When we talk about the area by the seabed, we are talking about the common heritage of, of mankind. So, and there's, a, there's a, uh, provisions there to share that, share the benefits with everybody. We still have a long way to decide how we're going to do that, how will be the models, but that's the idea. So it's not in the benefits of one company or one country. And that's how we see that, what we do here in the, in the authority. Well, marine scientific research is uh, one of the most important aspects of the work of the authority. We have a mandate to promote and encourage marine scientific research in the deep seabed and, importantly, to ensure that the scientific knowledge that is uh, gained from that is shared with developing countries that really lack the capacity and the technological capacity to engage in that sort of research for themselves. In accomplishing our respective mandates, the International Seabed Authority and the IUC of UNESCO share the same recognition that science is at the core of the value chain, from data to observations, leading to knowledge produ products, uh, further leading to informed policies, and therefore providing the basis for informing the conduct of all activities in the ocean. This is also why IUC and ISA are both recognized by United Nations Convention Law of the Sea as competent bodies for marine scientific research. Capacity building and technology transfer are of critical importance to ensure that all member states can implement effectively the international rules in the Convention. In recent years, the capacity building initiatives put in place by the ISA have benefited as many as 259 individuals, including 107 women. I came here in time for the July session uh, in 2014. At the time, I had uh, just recently come out of university and I was building my experience in, in law of the sea. So to be able to come to the ISA and uh, immerse myself in that environment, um, that was my first sort of international, intergovernmental organization that I ever got to see the inner workings of. Uh, that was a really interesting experience for me. Uh, we've seen greater engagement and participation of small island developing states members like my own, like Tonga, um, as sponsoring states, uh, greater engagement as members of the council uh, in the assembly as well. Uh, ongoing successful operationalization of fair and equitable benefit sharing mechanism of uh, the proceeds of deep sea bed mining in accordance with the principle of uh, common heritage of mankind. Dans 25 ans, le premier défi, c'est qu'elle puisse encore exister euh, et qu'elle réponde à tous les défis qui sont attendus d'elle et, qu et que ceux qui composent l'autorité n'aient pas baissé les bras. Donc je pense qu'effectivement, ça ne sera pas la même autorité du point de vue de son activité, mais 
il faut espérer qu'elle sera toujours là comme effectivement la preuve, c'est vraiment la preuve que ceux qui ont fait la Convention ont eu raison de créer l'autorité. Donc proactive, innovante, efficace, ça me semble être les marques qui doivent être celles de l'autorité. Distinguished delegates, the confidence entrusted in my presidency of this 25th session of the Assembly of the International Seabed Authority is truly appreciated. Please allow me to extend on behalf of the government and people of Jamaica our warmest welcome to our shores. Congratulations to ISA on achieving the milestone of 25 years. In the next 25 years, I believe that ISA will continue to grow as an organization and will achieve the objectives that are set out for it in the convention and will make a major contribution to the achievement of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Let me then congratulate ISA with the success for the first 25 years and I really hope for the next 25 years to be a success too. Feliz cumpleaños, feliz vigésimo quinto aniversario y que vengan muchos años de éxitos como hasta ahora los hemos visto. Mucha suerte. Felicito a la autoridad por por estos 25 años exitoso y espero que el futuro sea más fecunda la labor que ha realizado en estos años. So congratulations International Seabed Authority for the last 25 years and we are looking forward for the next 25 which will be eventually even better. ご視聴ありがとうございました。非常に私自身25年間のこういう海洋資源に関するま、え、経験をですね、このISAのカスドに活かせるんじゃないかというふうに思ってます。25周年おめでとうございます。日本へコンブモルール 25 وأن نؤكد على أن دوركم في المستقبل سيكون أهم والمجتمع الدولي ينتظر منكم المزيد والميراث والتراث الإنساني للبشرية ينتظر أيضا منكم المزيد من العمل والجدية واستكشاف الثروات في قاع المحطة شكرا تمنياتي بكل التوفيق the Deep Ocean Stewardship Initiative would like to extend the warmest congratulations to the International Seabed Authority on their 25th anniversary. Those who are very pleased to have been official observers at the ISA bringing this impartial scientific voice uh, during the annual sessions since 2016. The ISA has enabled participation of deep sea scientists from developing nations to engage in global scientific meetings and workshops through both the ISA Endowment Fund and the Secretary General's Award. We look forward to seeing how these capacity development initiatives grow in the future. The ISA has a pioneering role in the coming 25 years to enable effective management of the deep sea, both for the communities who live there and for all of humankind. In our connected world, we're glad to see that the ISA is seeking cohesion with the other international processes currently being negotiated in order to manage our deep marine realm and ensure provision for the common heritage of humankind. Dosi again congratulates the ISA on their 25th anniversary. I congratulate you on this occasion and wish you a very successful work for the Assembly. Thank you very much. As host country, Jamaica is honored really to facilitate the ISA's work in ensuring the sustainable development of our resources and the management of the deep seabed. As member states, we highly appreciate the ISA's work and contributions towards the attaining of these SDGs, which speak really to life below water, particularly SDG number 14. We want to express our warmest congratulations to ISA on this 25th anniversary, and we wish ISA all the very best for the next 25 years as we work together towards the Sustainable Development Goals. Happy anniversary, Seabed Authority. <laughs>